Now let me go ahead and I'm going to show you now how to do boundaries. I'm going to switch my, my view mode back to map mode. And let's go, let's do another search just to get me to my target. I'm going to do golf courses near Staten Island. Okay. So I want to focus in on the golf course that I show you how, how we can draw a boundary. Now the boundary could be things like I said, school districts, it could be communities, it could be different bounded areas, it could be a zip code that you wanted to highlight, some, some other focal point that you wanted to blog about. Now I'm going to highlight a golf, golf course. I'm going to draw the boundary around the golf course just to give you an idea of the scope. So I'm going to switch from map view to satellite view. And there you can see my golf course coming into view. And what I want to do is to go, I want to create a new map. So I'm, in order to create a boundary, I have to be in an edit mode of a map. So I'm going to click onto my maps. There's a list of all the maps I've been working on. I'm going to choose create a new map. Right? And when I do that, I have to title it. So let's say golf courses. Staten Island, as if I were going to highlight many, but I'm only going to show you one quickly. And you see these buttons that come up here. If I there's my place mark. If I, I can draw lines, I can draw lines along roads, or I can draw a shape. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a shape. And then it says click to start adding points. Now the technique that I use and I recommend highly is probably different than what you would think. Normally you would think I'm going to click one, two, three, a bunch, whole bunch of points around in the shape, all my points around. But that's that's a very tedious thing if you want to hit it fairly exact. And you'll see that that gets frustrating very quickly. I'm going to show you a different technique. I like it better. You can do it in whatever way works best for you. My technique is I'm going to click rough points just at the main turning points on my map here. And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to fine tune it. So I'm clicking around at every point that, say, it major shift happens. And if it, when you're done, you can double click and that closes it off. So you see all those points there then for each of my clicks. And then I have to give it a title. So this happens to be the La Tourette Golf Course. In the properties here, it's the default is going to be blue. I can click on that. I can change that to any color that I'd like to use, as well as I can change the, the line color, the line width, the opacity, and the opacity of the fill and the opacity of the line. That's a lot of different edits that you can do. But let's say, for instance, I wanted to change the line width. Let's make it a little bit wider. So we'll make it maybe a five pixel. And you'll see perhaps as we zoom in that becomes a little bit wider the fill color and the fill opacity so let's say I wanted to see through the coloring of the shade a little bit better so the higher the number the less you're gonna see so let's put it at 80 just to demonstrate see it blocks it out more if I put this lower the opacity is lower I can see through it better so let's try different numbers until we get to where we want I think I'm gonna stick with it 30 and that still shows me the blue but I can see through it so I'm gonna accept that and I'm going to accept that. And as I zoom in here now, you're going to see that at each of my points, each of my line segments there, has an endpoint marker and a midpoint marker. So if I wanted to fine tune this a little bit, I can zoom in and if I zoom in here, okay, so that particular line segment, there's an end on this side, an end on this side, and a midpoint. And if I take that midpoint and drag it to a new spot, I just created two new lines from the one. And each of the two new lines has a midpoint. So you can see how you could do this by, by adjusting the endpoints to fix something. Or where you have, like in this case here, I might want to fine tune this a little bit here. I'll drag that endpoint down a little bit tighter. and now I can take this midpoint and I can drag the midpoint and that just created a new line segment. And I can take this new line segment, see I keep on taking these midpoints and I can fill in 
and create my boundaries that are a little bit more tight to what I want to actually highlight. Right? So I might trace, I might go around the boundary and when, if this were the actual case I'd, I'd go through and probably go through all of those and just kind of tighten it up as I go around my boundary. In this case that's, that illustrates my point well enough though I think though so I'm going to hit done and that's going to go ahead and lock in that boundary. So now let's switch over to the, the concept of how do we get this into our blog post. So what we have to do is create an embed code. So what I'm going to highlight now is on the top bar here, you see where it says I can print it, I can send it, or I can link it. All right, so I want to link it. And it pops down this window and it says here's, here's two options for you. You can either paste a link, let's say if you wanted to email this to somebody and say come check out this golf course, you could just grab this link and copy it to your clipboard and you could, you could paste it into an email message but I'll just show you what that looks like. If I paste that code there right, and go to that, that's going to send this page to them and that will take them right to what you wanted to show them. So, But just keep in mind though that before you create the link you should zoom in to the level that you want and pan it. You can pan, get, get the placement of it just right and then you would create the link because that's what they're going to that's going to highlight that particular point or that zoom factor uh, when they open it so that's a good thing to, to spend time to set it up first. Let's go back to link let me zoom, let me get back out a little bit I'll go back to link and the second entry there down below is it says paste the HTML to embed it into a website so if I were to take this copy it to my clipboard. I could go over and I'll show you how to do this in a second but I would paste that into my web page or my blog post and that way this uh, graphic, this object, this map would show up in my blog post and that would be a great thing. That's very helpful to do that. But you'll, if you can see through here into the, the code it says it's a 425 pixel width so it's really not all that wide. If we think about our blog posts in Active Rain, for instance, uh, we have about 680 pixels across roughly. So if I wanted to customize this, I can click on the customize link just below that and you'll see here that the map size, you can pick it or you can pick custom. So if I, if I want to put in a custom width that goes the full width of my blog post, I, and I'll round that down to 680 to make it even, you're going to see there's my little preview as well and again now with my preview I can zoom in I can pan it and let's say that's the image that we want to use so down here in the box below if I select all and then I copy that's my embed code that I can use in my blog post so I've got that on my clipboard I'm going to switch back over to Active Rain and here's an active rain blog post that I started up. It's in draft mode, so it's not real, but it's going to let me illustrate the point. So I've got this this uh, blog post. I'm going to go into edit mode. And if you're going to embed something in a blog post, <clears throat> it could be a YouTube video, very similar. Um, in this case, we're embedding a map. What I like to do is you can type out your text and then what I like to do is type out something like embed map here or map embed here and I see I have a couple of those so we only want one of those and then you might that might not be the last thing in the post so you would have some text after it but I need to switch over to HTML view and in Active Rain the only way that you can do that and have it save your latest changes is to is to go ahead and post it and then come back and edit it what you want to make sure absolutely is that you, your visibility is set to draft mode because you don't want this to go out live until you're actually ready. So you set, make sure you set visibility to draft. You post the blog entry. So that locks in all this, the changes that you made. Okay, and, and then we're going to go back into edit again. And I'm going to, I'm going to switch. You see the tabs at the top. I'm going to switch over to the HTML tab and verify that's what I want to do and I'm going to find the words that I had typed in it said map embed here or embed map here however you want to say it. In HTML you don't really have to understand this too much 
But if you can just think of, see there's these P markers on the outside of that, you can just leave those alone. Just come in into here, highlight and delete, because that's what we're replacing. And then I'm going to paste in my, my code, which is, happens to be an iframe. And it's got us all this gibberish here, but you don't have to worry about that. You just have to take those words that you said, I want to embed my map here, replace it with that iframe code, and then we're going to go ahead and post the blog entry. And if it all works well here, you're going to see there is my embedded map, and there is my customized boundary. And there you have it. That's how you can take a map, you can embed it into your blog post, and you can do all sorts of neat customized things such as place markers and custom boundaries. So that wasn't too hard was it? I think hopefully I got, was able to show you a thing or two and hopefully that that then is gives you some ideas for what you can do with your blog posts. Well again I appreciate you spending time with me today. hope you learned something new. You can catch up with me on Active Rain. My blog is at activerain.com slash blogs slash Craig DA. You can catch me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is TechZMX. And I'm also on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Craig's Classroom. Appreciate you joining me today and we'll catch you soon. Bye.